Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule, Governor. Appreciate you coming out here today. Well, it's a pleasure. You've always been such a good supporter. I live to serve your family. here most of our lives. Governor, you know Miss Bell and Mr. Mitchell. Mm. Uh, hello, Governor. Um, you really should try the pot pie. It's quite delicious. Uh, Detective Titus made it himself. If you all kindly take a seat, I'd like to get started. I gathered you all here today to discuss my daughter. Terrible tragedy. Despicable. Did they ever find the man responsible? Never even found a suspect. I do declare. I called you all together here because it's my belief that not only were there two villains responsible for this heinous act, but they are present in this very room today. Tread lightly, detective. I don't appreciate your accusations. Rest assured, Governor, it's not you at whom I point my finger. No, it was not you who took advantage of my daughter's youthful trust. Stripped her of her innocence, removed her hands, and cut out her tongue so she might never reveal the identity of her violators. Oh, I do declare. But she did reveal their identities. Her last act before taking her own life and departing this cruel reality was to identify the bastards to me so that I might avenge her honor. And who was it? Y'all's twin sons. Her duty, Kalea. How dare you accuse my boys of this? But. Detective, you said the murderers were in this very room. Oh, but they are in this very room. Baked into the pies that you so readily and greedily consumed. I do declare. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. Hell is empty. And the devils are here. Christmas, you filthy animals! <laughs> <laughs>